Hello family members. I warmly welcome you all in this video. Today I would like to share the living word of God. Let me ask one question to each and everyone. If you die today, are you ready to meet God? If you die today, are you ready to meet God? Let me read the Bible passage for all of us. That is from Hebrew chapter 9 verse 27. Just as man is destined to die once and after that to face the judgment. Hebrew chapter 9 verse 27. My dear brothers and sisters, when we see the present contest in our land, many believers are still walking in the darkness, are still walking in the road which that leads us into destruction, which that leads us into hell. So my dear believers, are you ready to meet God if you die today? Are you ready to meet God if you die today? But the believers, if you happen to meet a blind person walking towards the fire, what would you do? He can't see because he is blind, but you know that there is a fire. And you know that if he continues to walk towards there, then he will burn and he will die. So what would you do in that situation? You will get silent and watch it happen. Or you will shout and tell him to stop and say, if you continue to walk towards there, then you will burn and you will die. What would you say? Today, you might be the blind person or I may be the blind person in our spiritual life. Here, I'm not talking about the literal fire. It's something far away from the fire. So my question is, are you ready to meet God if you die today? The mighty God, the creator of the universe and the judge of the universe. Mighty believers, one day you are going to die and I'm going to die. Every one of us are going to die because this is reality. The dead is reality. No one can escape from the dead and no one can run away from the dead. It's going to happen because this is true and the truth shall never change. You know, my dear believers, there are 150,000 people are dying every single day. But God is so faithful to us. So let us spend our time with Jesus while we are still alive. Let us spend our time with Jesus while we are still breathing. Let us repent to God. We do not know what is going to happen tomorrow. It might be too late for you and me if we do not repent today. My dear believers, today you might be thinking that I'm a good Christian. I'm a good person. Yes, sometimes I used to get drunk. Sometimes I used to eat intoxicant things. I used to get jealous when somebody do good things. I used to gossip others' name. But I'm not a murderer. But today I want all of you to understand this. Sin is sin. If you choose the sin, then you have already chose the darkness rather than the light, which is God. My dear believers, what is the use of gaining whole world and forfeit our soul? Of course, the decision is yours. You can say that it's a short life, so I will enjoy my life. You can do that. You can say that I will enjoy the sinful pleasure. But always remember, there is one day where we will die. And if we do not repent today while we are still alive, then we will go to hell and that is for eternity. And I'm sure no one deserves to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to that bless, torment bless. Because if you go to hell, we will, we will be snitching our deed and weeping forever and ever. My dear believers, which way are you walking in? Are you walking in the darkness or are you walking in the lightness? If you are still walking in the darkness, which leads you into hell, then come out of the darkness and walk in the lightness, which that will lead us into heaven. Let us choose Christ today. For example, if you go to bank to withdraw the money, but you do not deposit the money, on that very day, 
the bank manager will say, Sir, there's no money in your account. And on that very day, you cannot convince him to withdraw the money because there is no money in your account. And he will say the truth. Likewise, during the second coming of Jesus Christ, many believers will try to convince to Jesus to let them enter into the kingdom of God. But on that day, the Jesus will reply to them, I never knew you go away. God says, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of God, but only who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter into the kingdom of God. So my dear believers, let us repent. Let us ask forgiveness to God. And let us make close relationship to God because God wants only the true relationship. Coming to Christ and accepting Savior is the most important and greatest decision in our, in our life. If you are willing, then God is ever ready to forgive our sins. But God is asking you today, are you willing to change your life? If you are willing, then He is ready to change your life and He is ready to give you a new life. May God bless us all. Amen.